Hello. Uh, <clears throat> so we will start with. Uh, we need the. Uh, do we have the title somewhere of the? Czechoslovak yes. word of the week. Okay. Yeah. So <clears throat> let's just uh, start with the presentation, starting with Michal Škrabal yeah. about Czech. Right? Okay. Uh, yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. Uh, hello, everyone. Thank you for attending our presentation. I, I hope you will like it, and especially our project. This is uh, this is called Československé uh, slovo týdne, týždňa, or Czechoslovak word of the week, and it's a joint project of uh, Czech and Slovak linguists, and we did that on on. Uh, uh, we had a special occasion this year, as um, uh, January uh, on January uh, on January the first. Uh, it was uh, 30 years from uh, dissolution of our country, Czechoslovakia, former. Uh, so we sort of uh, wanted to uh, use this occasion to attract uh, people's uh, attention especially Czech, Czech people's attention to, to Slovak and especially for younger generation which uh, for for whom uh, the the former um, mutual intelligibility of our two languages is uh, is no no uh, longer holds or is is, uh, is uh, not so so common as it used to be which is kind of uh, uh, a pity, I would say. Uh, I was born in Czechoslovakia, and I, these two languages were in very, very uh, close uh, interaction uh, every day. And so it's it's not anymore. That's 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 the main idea behind uh, our project to attract people's attention to our two languages. Uh, and this is a, as I said, a joint project. Uh, I'm from uh, uh, the Institute of the Czech National Corpus. Uh, Peter is uh, from uh, from uh, Ludovic Stur, uh, Stur's uh, Institute of uh, Slovak Language, and uh, we compiled this uh, uh, this uh, piece of uh, lexicographic work. I would say. This is uh, we consider it as as a, as a kind of uh, a dictionary uh, with a uh, microstructure, as you can see uh, here, are uh, entries uh, published so far. It's uh, it's being published. Uh, every every Monday on uh, in, in the morning, so we uh, have uh, this uh, list of entries, and they will they will uh, uh, grow uh, for the whole year, each and every every week, and uh, we have uh, a fixed uh, microstructure of of each entry, which is uh, which. Let's say this, this is more typical. Oh, no. Yes, uh, this Tushka uh, Tseruska pair. The central part is, the part is a, a, a language phaeton, which is a genre very, very popular in both Czechia and Slovakia. People love it, simply. So we gathered some, some uh, uh, a team of uh, writers, especially or mainly uh, linguists and some some freelance uh, writers and journalists uh, who uh, write their their uh, it simply says a few words about word tushka or something about uh, word uh, tseruska. It's a it's a just a simple uh, language phaeton and with some etymological information or some impression that this uh, this uh, word gives uh, 
uh, to, uh, to to write, uh, and you can, as you can see, there are, these are not uh, translations. Uh, these are autonomous, uh, separate, uh, separate texts. Uh, one being written by a, a Czech writer, uh, and one uh, parallelly about uh, by by uh, Slo uh, by the Slovak one. And then we uh, supplement this uh, this text with some some uh, frequency uh, or some from some data resources we we can uh, we have uh, 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 mainly corpora. These are frequency um, some frequency um, information for uh, for. Uh, Different genres, uh, spoken, uh, spoken um, language, and, and three uh, registers in, in the written language. Uh, then we have some some uh, let's say synonyms or similarly used uh, uh, words, which we use uh, we use uh, word embeddings for that. Then we. Uh, there are some uh, some uh, uh, fragments from uh, both uh, written language and spoken language from our corpora, plus we hyperlinked yeah another language uh, another examples of, of uh, usage. Uh, are here. You can even examples from uh, from uh, spontaneous conversations, which we are really proud of, and and we quote some some uh, dictionaries. Uh, uh, Monolingual and uh, bilingual, uh, and here you have something I call a retro section. Uh, this is uh, Josef Jungmann's uh, uh, dictionary, uh, Czech, uh, Czech uh, German dictionary from eighteen uh, thirties, and even uh, even uh, older one, uh, Anton Bernolak's. Uh, Anton Bernanox, uh, Czech, Latin, German, uh, Hungarian uh, from 1825. So this is, uh, and here's uh, uh, the one you, you probably know very well, this is Vlado, which is, uh, who, is, uh, who is a, um, a colleague of, of ours, who's a very, very important for this. For this project, in fact, we uh, we uh, presented the original idea back in 2019, I believe, in Sintra uh, at Elex uh, at, uh, in Sintra. So this is uh, this is probably uh, yeah, this is the presentation of the say uh, front end, right, and. Uh, I'll hand over to uh, right now uh, to uh, to uh, Peter, who will uh, who will present you some some guts, uh, some some uh, insight or some technical um, uh, technical uh, details of the or technical solution of of this website. So hi, hi everyone! Hi everyone! Uh, thank uh, thanks to Mich. Michal, for introduction, well, uh, I will uh, use this uh, spare, spare time, a uh, few, few minutes, uh, to briefly describe the te technical background of, of this uh, of this project. Uh, <clears throat> you can see that it's uh, it's pretty simple from technical point of view. This is not, it's not a rocket science uh, in, in this uh, website. Uh, so it could be done uh, technically in many ways, even uh, even using the 
static HTML uh, or ma many other approaches. Uh, we, we picked uh, our own, own uh, way using this uh, jhipster web application gener generator. It's just one of those tools that uh, can make, make your life as a programmer easier because uh, using the, uh, this tool you can uh, you can create skeleton of uh, these web uh, web pages, web uh, application very quickly. Yeah. So uh, this this J hipster uh, just ask you like dozen of questions. Uh, how how your application should uh, should look look like uh, like application name, uh, which database you like to use, uh, which uh, front end. Uh, uh, you know, uh, framework, and it it will build a skeleton of uh, of your application uh, right after this. And then, as a second step, you can uh, you can mo model some, uh, <clears throat> you know, your domain, your uh, your business uh, entities uh, using using this uh, this handy tool. Yeah, so it's pretty simple. You you just uh, name your entities, uh, put columns here, and and that's that's it. Yeah, <clears throat> and then and then this uh, Jpster uh, generates a skeleton of application for you. You can now you can see the admin uh, admin uh, user interface. Uh, that uh, that is behind behind this web page. So this this is a page uh, when out, authors are listed with photos and descriptions, and you can you can simply simply add edit many manage it manage it in a straightforward uh, ma manner. We have just uh, three entities in in this project. Uh, this is uh, word pairs when uh, you can see a list of uh, all these pairs we have for uh, prepared for uh, for entire year yeah <coughs> so it's uh, that's it <laughs> and you can simply edit edit each uh, yeah good thing is that uh, not only me as a programmer can edit the content but also michal and other other, other guys <clears throat> yeah. So, so we uh, we 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 use uh, some some uh, you know components for for this web page like this uh, uh, like this view uh, framework, which is one of one of. Uh, one of the cool, cool ones used uh, used nowadays, and also uh, this uh, Postgre SQL data database, yeah, which is pretty pretty much established. So uh, so it's so it's working and it's it is pretty stable. There's no, no problem with maintaining the, this web page and. Uh, it has potential to be extended in many ways. Yeah. So, for for example, we can add another language, uh, another language to 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 this set, like uh, po Polish or some <laughs> maybe even Slo Slovenian. <laughs> okay. So that's it in uh, in brief. Thank you. <coughs> Hey, thank you. <clears throat> so we have uh, some time for questions. Any questions from the public, the audience? Yes. Thank you. This is really cool. Um, so I am on the board for the Czechoslovak Genealogical Society International. We call ourselves international, but we're mostly Americans. Um, I'm wondering if there's a way to get this into English because we would love something like this. Let's 
It's definitely open source, and you're welcome to to use it. We we didn't we didn't do any um, English version of of the of the project. But by the way, here's some some information. You can get uh, some uh, detailed information uh, in uh, this tab info. So there are a few words about about the project. Uh, yeah, including Sindra. Uh, right. Um, so um, yeah, it's no no pro no, no, pro no problem. But uh, I don't know how it would look like. Uh, English would be uh, one of the languages. What will be? What would be the, the other one? <laughs> well, look, we all lost the English language. Oh. Probably not. Sorry, we. My ancestors came in the 1880s, right? And we're all we're all really obsessed, but none of us speak it really that well. So if we had some way to translate some of the the phrases, we we wouldn't necessarily need it as like a you know separate panel. Or I don't I don't know. This just seems like something that people back home would be really interested in. Okay. We can do some some extra work for English version, but we didn't expect that someone someone would love it. <laughs> okay, that's that's great to hear that. Thank okay. you. Any other? Yes. I have a question, and thank you very much for the uh, interesting presentation. Um, and I'm really glad that you are bringing the Phaeton genre back because yeah. I'm, I'm kind of thinking that it's in in the decline. I was wondering. Um, and I think it's really cool that the phaetons are always new. I, I'm, I suppose they are uh, only for this page. They're created for this page. Yes. Uh, what was the uh, what was behind the decision to create a new phaeton and not use some phaetons from some d database somewhere? Well, we didn't think of it. But probably copyright uh, uh, issues. Yeah, we, we, we wanted uh, to have our original work. That's, that's because all the project is, is, uh, is uh, new, brand new. Although it, uh, it uh, uses all those data are, are taken from another sources, external sources. But the, yeah, to be honest, uh, this is the only, uh, the only original part of, of, the, of the work. So if, uh, yeah, so something should be should be a new original. So, yeah, we yeah we we did it on our own. Yeah. Any other questions? Let me ask you something. How do you decide each week? Uh, it's uh, yeah, personal preferences. Uh, 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 frankly, frankly, yeah. Are there any criteria like uh, it's something that is new and it didn't exist before? We try or? to do it as as uh, uh, as interesting as as possible. Uh, we uh, prefer those words with, uh, that are uh, those two languages are of course they are very similar. Uh, but uh, there are some major differences uh, in, in, in those lexicons. So we uh, try to uh, we try to pick up those uh, those uh, really like cool words for for uh, for us Czechs, which sounds uh, which sounds sexy and and very like exotic. And we kind of make fun of uh, Slovaks for for, for, the, for that. And, and vice versa, of course. Uh, um, let's say this. Uh, can you can you interpret one of these? Like, what is uh, uh, interesting for the other one? Uh, because we don't know. Uh, probably sound sound chucho. So it sounds sounds a little bit. Uh, and what does it mean actually? Uh, Borufka is blueberry, right? Yeah, blueberry. Yeah, yeah. Or zelva koritnačka, also as uh, tortoise, right? So uh, it's we just picked up our favorite ones, yeah. Okay. To to make uh, make people 
get interested uh, in, in, the, in the project. Yeah. But we have we have also uh, not only those uh, like uh, nouns, but we have also uh, some. Uh, 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 <laughs> Conjunctions, yeah, right. Yeah, although, although, right? Ah, although. Let's see. Okay. And we have. Uh, that was yours, I see. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. And we we have even um, multi-word units mm -hmm. or, uh, expressions as well. Yeah. Uh, let me, so <clears throat> you say that you would like to. Um, <clears throat> Uh, well, raise interest. Uh, do you follow what happens? How many people actually read it or click on it or what else? Yeah, we, we try to, we uh, promote it uh, especially or mainly uh, via uh, social uh, media. Uh, we have some hundreds and uh, thousands of, of uh, low thousands, say. Uh, of users or readers uh, in both countries, it could be uh, it could be better. We we will have to work on that um, uh, in the future. Well, for the for the rest of the of the of the year, but yeah, we we try. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Yeah. Sorry, just one more question. How far, you said do you prepare this a year in advance or like how, how does your planning work? Because uh, like it can be really hard to plan content for that far. Yeah, uh, we spent uh, uh, last year, a uh, major part of last year with uh, planning and writing and preparing all the material for, for uh, the project to be released. So uh, it took a quite a lot of work. <laughs> yeah. Any... It's, it's, it's still it's, it's still fun. <laughs> Any other question occurred to anybody? No. Uh, then let me ask a difficult one. <laughs> so let's say that you collect corpus on a daily ba basis. Uh, I mean. Could you think about something like that? It, that um, the suggestion would, would actually come from actual text published weekly or daily or whatever? Uh, yeah, we, yeah, I can, I can uh, imagine that. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, well, here's... Uh, this Sintra, no, uh, uh, right here. We originally we thought about uh, word of the day, but it would uh, take much, much more work. We're we're glad that we didn't do that. But uh, you you probably m uh, mean something like semi-automatic uh, extraction yes. from yeah. I could some something like a word of the of the day, which is prominent. Yeah, in the news or what? We work on that in in, in our institute on 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 the project. Uh, Václav is is sitting here. Um, we might try. We might try to 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 connect these these two projects in in the in the future. Uh, yeah. Okay. So. I think we are done. Let's thank once again our presenters. Thank you.